Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today, I wanna to show you Threadit. So this is something new from Google. It's not part of their Google workspace. This is uh, in their uh, area 120. It's a project different from there. So it is free to use. And what it is, uh, what it does is able you to send out videos where people can reply in video. So if you've used something like Flipgrid before, it can be very similar to that concept. Uh, it integrates easily with your email, with the extension. So I'm gonna go through and show you how to use Threadit here today on Teachers Tech and see if there could be a possibility of you for you not being able to be always in video meetings live where you could be sending these and getting more work done. So I'll timestamp everything down below in the description. So if you're looking for something in particular inside this video, just take a look there and you can jump right to it. But to get signed up, it's super easy. And remember, I said this is free for now anyway. Uh, just go ahead and click Try Thread It and you're gonna be asked to log in with either your Google or Microsoft account. So go ahead and click the, one of those. And then you'll see you can use it for either work or for your personal life. In this demo, I'm just gonna pick uh, personal life here and hit continue. And you can just pick your countries here really quickly that you belong to. And we'll say, in this case, I'll just use it for, uh, I'm gonna say actually education. And then you can opt to get more updates. I'm gonna create account and it's that easy to get started and have your account with Threadit. Now, once you're in, I would recommend to install the uh, Chrome extension because it will connect with your Gmail easily. And it will also just actually works better, I find, when you work from the extension. So go ahead and just click Add Extension uh, and get that loaded up into your Google Chrome. So you can see now I have my extension right up here. Um, I'll pick got it. If you wanna pin it, are usually the ones that I like the best. I pin it just like that and it always shows up. So now I can easily access, uh, I can start from blank here. So I don't need the extension, but I do find it works better. I can start from blank here or I can go to the extension and it's gonna open up uh, the same things you can see from templates uh, that I have here. So uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and it's just starting from a blank template or a blank one and then I'll show you some of the templates you can choose too. So just before we start, this is what we'll be creating down here and all your threads will be saved down here. So here's a recent one I just did real quickly and what it does is it puts uh, your threads in kind of this linear way that you can see them in order of people responding to each one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back and I'm gonna start from a blank, but do note there are the tutorials here. Uh, if you drop down, you can see all these different tutorials and all they really do is start with more uh, headings that gives you an idea of what to fill in like a tutorial, but you can do everything from a blank one, uh, very easy to use. And that's what I'm gonna start from right here by clicking uh, blank. Now uh, I'm gonna call this, uh, since I already made demo one, as an example, I'll just call demo two. And what I'm gonna do here is, let's say if I'm gonna share this to people, uh, I wanna show, tell, tell them about Threadit, uh, make sure your settings are correct. You have the right mic microphone and you have like the right camera. You can turn them on and off here by just clicking. But I'm gonna just hit the start one and do a little message. Hi everyone, uh, I just wanted to take you to take a look at Threadit. This could be something that we could use to save a lot of time communicating with, vi uh, with video. So I have clip one. I could go back and retitle it. I'll call this Threadit. And let's say I want them to uh, know about the extension too. So if I uh, go through here, and I should spell things correctly, you can go through and uh, go back and change things too. I'm gonna screen share on this one. So I wanna show the actual uh, uh, page for the Chrome extension. So I'm gonna hit share screen, and I could do entire screen application window. window. I'm gonna go to Chrome tab, click on this, because this is the one I wanna share. It's right up here, I'm gonna hit share. Now it brings me to this. I'm gonna open back up uh, this right down here. So this is what I'm working on. You can see uh, this is what's gonna be recorded with my uh, picture right here. So I'm gonna hit record, it will count down again. Uh, make sure you check out the extension to add this. This will make it so that right from your Gmail, you can start a new thread. It's to save you a couple steps. 
and hit stop. I have two different parts of this. So I could keep adding more and more to it. Uh, so you can see how easy it is to screen share if you're helping people with some tech stuff too. I'm gonna go ahead and hit finished video. And now this is the organization I'm in right now, uh, shared with teachers, anybody in it. So if you're working with an organization that would work uh, well, I can go and change this to public because maybe there's, I could send the link. But do note, if you just send the link to somebody, they're not gonna be able to reply. They'll see the video, but they're not gonna be able to reply. So if I go to this one, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add a different email to here. And I'm gonna say this person can reply. But notice I can say this person can only view, but I want this person to reply for this demo so you can see. So I could say notify people, write a message, uh, hit save. Uh, we have a transcript we can take a look at that uh, everything I said in this and they get to see it on the other end too. I could add an attachment. So with this, uh, I'm just gonna go and copy this link here and I'm gonna go back and uh, we'll add an attachment as a link here, just like that, and I'll just type link and hit save. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish. So now what I'm gonna do is go over to my other email account to see what they see on the other end, or sorry, on the other threaded account here. So I'm just say got it and move over. So I'm just over in my other threaded account. So I've created an account for them uh, too. And I didn't even go to the email. I did get a response, but it goes right into here to recent thread it's. And now if I look at this, I could click on it and open it up from here. If there's other people that I thought that would uh, like to, that I think should be part of this, I could go ahead and add them uh, right uh, through here. So you could click add, I could share with more people. I'm not gonna do that for this one. I could go and watch. Hi everyone, I uh, just wanted the video like that. And you might think, well, where's the other ones? Well, it's right up here because I gave two different ones. So this is where I can see the extension. If I click on it, it will move back and forth uh, to the different ones on it. So here's uh, make the, sure you check out the extension. So here's the extension one on there. And I do have, uh, if you look at it, we can copy link to thread it. We have uh, the different options of the transcript on it too. So that's what they, uh, that's what they will see. And I can go ahead, I'll hit reply. And now I can talk back to them. I'll, I'll just do a short recording. Hey, thanks for uh, showing me this. I think this is something we can really use here. And finish video. And I'm gonna keep everything the same because I don't need uh, to add anything more and publish and got it. So now again, I'll just switch back to my other account uh, on it and my other thread it. I'm just gonna refresh this here. And you'll see here is my other one a few seconds ago. This is my most recent one. Uh, kind of confusing because it's the same person, but here's me responding to this. Hi everyone. And now it could go on and on with more people and it puts it in order of response. So you get to watch it when you have the time, you get to respond when you have the time and it's super easy to use. Like I said, if you've used Flipgrid before, uh, this is very can be very similar uh, to that. Super easy to use too. Uh, if I go over to my email and so I'm just over in my create mode in my email. Notice down below uh, here is a new thread. So when I've installed the extension, I could go from my email here, I could uh, click on it and create thread and it will open it up right from here. So it saves you those steps. Uh, and this is the extension that's added. So if I go, uh, you know, if I could just, I'll just say test. And if I'm doing a blank one, I could just hit enter here, or I could go on and let's go onboarding and training. And you can see what the templates do for you. So you can kind of, it helps you set up all the different parts of it to kind of help explain, tell the story or tell the, the explanation. Uh, and you can change any of these that you want, but it just kind of helps you with those steps. So I could go and record from here and move on. So I hope you like this little walkthrough of Threaded. I think this is a cool tool. I also like the price of it being free here. Let me know what you think, uh, give it a try. I think there's lots of great things that could be used for uh, for work or education. Like I said, very similar to Flipgrid and you can have that conversation uh, back and forth. I would like to hear about, yeah, more people giving it a try and see what they think of it. Thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.